Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. What does that even mean? Well, we all aim to do better in our lives. We want to become better at something, whether, it, whether it's become better parents, be a better spouse, be a better business person, make more money, have more free time, and get in better shape. See, I have two kids. I have an 11-year-old daughter and a 5-year-old son, and each day I get to watch them explore their interests and learn how to do something that they're interested in. And I like, I like to play video games, but now my 5-year-old son is now just as good or better than me at a lot of the games that we play on the Xbox together. You know, I've watched my daughter develop a love for art and drawing these super cute cat memes and making these crazy animal hybrids. And I can see where she started out at and where she's at today. And I can see how much progress she has made and how excited she is to show me her new drawings. But I also see the artists that she's imitating and uh, the ones that she's looking up to. And I can see how far she still has to go. But the awesome thing is that she doesn't compare herself to them. She simply compares herself to how much better she has gotten, and I see how much joy it gives her. See, as new Christians, we often see how other Christians are, and we compare ourselves to them, and we think they have so much more faith, and they never seem to to mess up, or they never say bad words, and they always keep their cool. They know a ton of Bible verses. And if you are in a new relationship with God, I want to encourage you in this. Don't compare yourself to someone who has been a Christian for 30 years. Dream big, but take baby steps. The verse again says this, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Take a look at where you want your life to be, and then begin to set up a few baby steps for how you want to get there. Make a commitment that over the next 30 days that you will read one of the Gospels. Make a commitment that that, uh, this next week you're going to memorize one Bible verse. Or make a commitment that this next week you won't lose your cool when getting your kids to school in the morning. Make a commitment that this next week you will be generous with your time or generous with your money. Dream big, but take some baby steps. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we'll see you tomorrow.